Hi, I'm Blythe Stevens of A Blythe Coach, dance education and coaching to move through life with balance, grace, and power. This week, our theme is stretching. What does it mean to stretch? In dance and in yoga, we're walking a fine line between stability and mobility. And so to me, stretching is nurturing both of these qualities. We have a stable point and are working to foster stability as well as greater freedom in all of our joints. So I invite you to think of where is the fixed point in each stretch from which we are reaching and elongating and where are those rays or trajectories of energy in each of our yoga poses today? This yoga flow is going to strengthen, stretch, and invigorate you. Let's begin at the back of our mat standing. First, let's find our weight distribution spread across the whole bottom surface of the feet. So each toe and the joint meeting the toe with the foot, spreading out and pressing onto the floor. Our metatarsals or the ball of our foot also spreading and pressing onto the floor as well as the heel to create that beautiful stable platform. My feet are falling directly below my hip joints. And how can I find that place? Well, I can look, see where the hip creases are and the legs are reaching below that. Or also just taking a couple of marches too can help me find where can the feet be directly under the hip joints. This is our stable location with feet parallel. A little less stable, but a nice balance challenge for more advanced practices is to bring the feet all the way together. Let's take a couple breath cycles with the arms reaching out over the side on the inhale to elongate from that base of support, support below us all the way through the body. We can let the back arch and the shoulders raise and everything draw apart from our point of gravity. And then as we exhale through the mouth or the nose, bring the arms back down. Inhaling to rise. And exhaling, letting the arms float or drift down. Now if I can, we're gonna close the mouth and breathe through the nose. On the next inhale, we'll raise up here to the top. And on that exhale, float down, rolling through the spine, head first, articulating through the neck and upper back. Arms are dangling the middle back and then the lower back, bringing our fingertips to the floor. And then the flesh of the hands, if it can reach. And just softly bending in the knees. We can swing side to side a little bit. Ease in the neck with a no and a yes. And imagining our fixed point of support in the feet. And with the next inhale, we're going to reach from that place into a long, flat back position. We can place the hands onto the shins or the thighs or in the hip creases to help sense the space between our hips or our tailbone and the crown of the head. And then forward fold. I'm going to walk one hand and the other out in front of me, mindfully placing weight 
onto the hands as I did with the feet. Spreading it out across the palms, the fingers, the joints of the fingers, out to a plank pose. My high plank is grounded in the hands and the feet, and then elongating from the crown of the head through the whole spine, and a nice long line, maybe a little puffed up through the shoulders. Nice and supported there. And then either maintaining this high push-up position or going ahead and lowering the knees down onto the floor to our half push-up or half plank position. I'll slowly lower down to the floor, all the way onto my belly, bringing the top of the feet to the floor, hands right underneath the shoulders, Inhaling to ripple through the spine to our cobra pose. Long, grounded in the tops of the feet and the pelvis and the legs, and then spiraling up. With the next inhale, I'll push to my half or full push up position. And then I'll walk forward with the feet, one foot and the other foot, noticing how I'm placing weight onto the whole bottom of the foot as I walk forward towards the front of the mat. Inhale to a long flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Arms come over the side to the top. And then hand, palms will meet in the Anjali Mudra and come in front of my heart center. Inhale to the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stepping one foot on the other foot, back to our downward dog. Now, mindfully planting both hands flat onto the floor and walking through the feet. A little prance, rolling, articulating the feet. If it feels good to you, you can circle through the ankles as well. And then reaching the heels down towards the floor. They don't have to meet the floor, but they're striving to do so. Planting the balls of the feet and the palms into the floor and lifting the hips up and away. Reaching the right leg long behind us to our three-legged dog. Then curling the knee in towards the chest to step that foot or bring that foot forward with the hand. Turning the back foot flat onto the ground, we're going to roll up to our warrior one. Feeling those fixed points of both feet on the floor and then reaching up and out of the spine and the fingertips. Hands come together. And then back to the floor, stepping back and either meeting in downward facing dog or coming through a vinyasa flow through chaturanga. And then our cobra. And release. And here we are in downward facing dog. Nice long neck. Left leg reaching up to the back to our three-legged dog again. And then left knee in towards the chest or towards the forehead. Step or bring the left foot forward. Right foot rolls flat. And then rolling up 
with our next inhale to our warrior one. And release back down to the floor. Last chance for a chaturanga flow or meet me again in downward facing dog. Slowly lowering. And we'll walk the hands back. The reverse of what we had done at the very beginning of our practice. Then the knees to slowly roll up. One more breath. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.